Can't say that I really know how to start these every time. I don't even know how to start these at all, to be honest. But, uh, I still try. Welcome back to another video I have. Um, once again, I am nowhere near qualified, you know, to give this professional advice or whatever. This is just what I am doing right- Well, let me give you the title of the video right now. Um, why- What things to do when you are bored at home because I know that all of you are in this situation right now because of this whole virus situation. So, once again, I these are just the things that I do at home. You can do them too, just to modify to your liking. This is only what I do at home. If it helps you, great. If it doesn't, still stay home, don't do anything too drastically crazy. I know that you guys have probably seen a lot of content like this already because that was probably your for first YouTube search um, when you when this whole thing got, well, we basically got into lockdown was what I'm trying to say. And I know that a lot of other people have done it. This is just me copying them doing exactly what everybody else is doing. Original content though. Without further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it with you guys. And so, I, like I said, I have seven tips or seven things that I do at home or seven things that I've tried at home while during this quarantine or maybe I've done it in my past as well. But I have seven tips for you guys so let's just jump into it. The number one thing I have to say that I have been doing at least during this quarantine and that I suggest everybody else do is learn a new skill. I'm sure all of you saw that one coming. I think it is just really beneficial to get out of this better than we came into it. Um, like I said before, um, we're not sponsored by them at all. Don't worry, at 35 subscribers, I don't think I'm sponsored by anything, but uh, Skillshare, I think. Anyways, Skillshare, like I said before uh, in the last video you heard, uh, I think it's a great play. It is paid, but you can get like two months free. I think I'm using my two months free right now. Um, and you can learn just about anything you can think of on there. And it's by like these trained professionals or teachers or whatever that teach you how to do something. Uh, like I said, I am learning like a film editing class. Hopefully you're noticing the differences as these videos go on. Um, but that's what I'm taking right now. But they have tons of other things you can do. I'll post another link in the description just to, but I'm pretty sure you guys all know what it is. So. The number two thing that I have that I was just doing is I've actually, well, I haven't start, I have started, but it's, not really for me is why I haven't done anything. I've known this knowledge since I was like 16 about these this thing. It's called, I'm sure you've heard of it, it's called affiliate marketing. Basically, you take, uh, you go to like some huge website like Amazon, Nike, just about anything, Walmart, Best Buy, they all have these affiliate programs. Amazon obviously is one of the best, but anyways, how it works is you take a product that you specifically you pick a niche that you like um, let's just say just because I'm looking at one cameras you then I'll just give you the formula that I know is then you would then go to let's say Amazon's website look up the exact camera camera that you would like to review uh, you go contact the seller or you go to Amazon's uh, affiliate program like at the bottom I'll show I'll right here I'll show me going to it basically once you go through all the paperwork or whatever it is there you then get this special link uh, that they send to you and so you post that on your social medias your Instagram your Twitter any your, your YouTube wherever it you have a following you post it there and for every person that goes through that link and buys that camera or actually anything from that link so like they could go on your uh, go through your link turns out they don't want to buy the camera they go back like 10 hours later and because it's still 24 hours since they clicked on your link they could buy like a dog bed and you'd still get commission off that it's kind of crazy if you could rack it up and run like four of these but anyways that's my number two m yes my number two uh thing that i would try out at least educate yourself on it because it is probably the state of which the internet is going actually it already is but another like side tip of that one there's another thing called amazon fba now this one has a somewhat startup cost i won't get too much into it just research it yourself if you want me to do a full video on it which i'm sure none of you probably do 
it's basically where you are instead of you are contacting the seller on Amazon to get an affiliate link for their product you are the the exact seller so you're actually buying the product posting it on Amazon and you know you would probably have a website and things like that and then you could run like a few of those businesses obviously get one down first but that's how that works the third thing I would try out is do what I'm doing right here, start a YouTube channel. This is probably where the whole world is going eventually, if it hasn't basically already. I think I read a stat the other day and it's about that daily, I think YouTube gets about 1.5 billion views a day. That's kind of crazy if you think about it. Um, I don't know how much TV gets anymore, but go ahead, be creative, do something, obviously do something that you think is, you know, you're passionate about and, you know, put that into the camera and show people about it. Uh, people want to see it. Everybody wants to see something. I'm telling you, you could sell a rock if you could sell rocks for and make 30k a year if you wanted to build your personal brand too like i'm more active on instagram now too uh i also just created a tiktok so go follow me there i'm basically doing stupid little videos but who knows tiktok's crazy right now i heard uh i'm sure you've heard of the, like the one of the top tick tiktokers is that what they're called uh charlie d'amelio got like four million four million followers within a month or four months that's crazy to think about that that's what tiktok's at right now though number four on my list um i'm sure you're tired of hearing me complain about it i'm not really complaining i'm just saying uh one thing i've been doing uh personally because of this virus is i've been playing with new hairstyles as you can tell um right now uh actually my roommate just shaved his head uh because why not i mean nobody's gonna see you except for when you go to the grocery store or whatever but other than that it's time to try you can try new things go in the mirror go get some hair gel or whatever just check out new hairstyles see if you like them go check that hairstyle out that you were like eh, i kind of want to do it but it would look ugly but maybe it won't and maybe people will hate me for it number five on my list um i personally used to be doing this but because i live in new york it's a little sketch now um to be doing it but i would suggest going on a run or just a walk uh because we're in the, at this stay at home thing quarantine order it's hard to get like actual sunlight and go outside and smell fresh air like and being cooped up really kind of sucks so just go outside and go for a walk get some fresh air run go get get exercise it's a good thing to do um especially because i know none of us none of us have anything else to do right so might as well get something out of it number six uh i talked about this also in my last video but i would journal um i highly highly recommend this like i said it is a this is a time where people are going to be learning about this time in the future okay this is going to be probably textbooks of kids of our kids in the education system later in our life so it's good to document it document write down write down how you're feeling how you think it's going to turn out what's what do you want to happen how do you want to better yourself and i think it's just a good like I said, documentation tool. Uh, I also, when journaling, I also see a lot of things of myself that normally I just kind of don't see, I guess. I don't really know how to put that. But it's it's just a good thing to look back on, I think. And that's why I think, I, that's why I journal. That's why I think you should journal. And it also just keeps me, you know, staying on task with what I need to do. Lastly, number seven, I would read a book. Now, I know what you're thinking. Joshua, I'm not reading a book. I'm not a nerd. I'm not going to read a book. Listen, reading a book is very, in my eyes, soothing. And um, I'm able to focus in and read and learn at the same time. It's very educational to read books. I read all kinds of these business books, you know, entrepreneurship books. And when I'm reading, I feel good about myself also after I'm done reading because I felt, wow, I just gathered a lot of information. I can now further this into whatever my life, my work. And at the same time, it was very interesting. And even if you don't really want to do that, just go ahead and write a book. Uh, you could be writing it about this virus right now. Um, I was thinking, probably won't um, because I have too much on my plate already, but... I was thinking about starting a book called 
uh, 18% of a life story. I don't know, but it's basically me telling me, telling the, my life story, but I'm only 18, so it's only 18% of one. <laughs> don't copy it. I'm trademarking it right now, registering it. You cannot copy. You can do 19% of a life story, 20%, 17%, but you cannot do 18% of a life story, okay? Because if one of you writes it and gets super famous, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> Alright, so that's seven things that I did or I'm doing during this quarantine and while I'm super bored at home. Hopefully it helps. Um, I actually have, something I want to say right now is I actually have a set schedule that I'm going to try and s stick to with these videos and my Instagram and like my TikTok now. And I just want to have a set schedule so that you guys can hopefully expect a video these days. Basically, I'll just go ahead and tell you. I'm going to try and upload a video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then upload on Instagram, maybe some questions, stuff like that on my story. And an actual post on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then I hopefully want to do some TikTok, maybe interact with some people on Twitter on the weekends. And I just think it would this is going to be a great thing for me and hopefully you can i'm able to produce that kind of content for you guys on those days uh, so expect it then expect it then i need something to push me so. but anyways that is the video i once again i hope this helped this is just what i have been doing during the quarantine uh like i said i'm gonna say it one more time hopefully it helped i know you've probably seen a lot of different videos like this already but i know i'm super original just don't destroy me in the comments like i said please subscribe maybe even i'm gonna throw this one and maybe put on notifications you know so when you know when i post videos but anyways that's the end of the video i hope you liked it so stay home stay safe and i'll see you in the next one